Previously in Let's Play Mega Man X4. Slash beast, huh? So what kind of beast are you? Are you like a lion? Are you like a wolf or something? A jackal! Jackal! It's a jackal! It looks like a jackal! 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 It's a jackal! Jackal! Hi! And now for the continuation. Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X4. So now it's time for us to actually deal with the Colonel himself, and we're going to the spaceport, apparently. It's almost like uh, Storm Owl's uh, stage, except it's now during the day. When uh, we were in Storm Owl's stage, it was at nighttime. And the platforms, obviously, are different. As you can see, we have a bunch of these guys here. I think these are supposed to be the Sniper Joes of the game. But I'm not entirely sure. They don't really feel like a Sniper Joe. Anyways, yeah, this stage is pretty much straightforward. We got a bunch of these bouncy things. And yeah, as you can see, I got Twin Slasher out for pretty much the majority of this entire, uh, like, stage. Because it's pretty easy to use here, and most of the enemies, uh, just get ripped apart by it real easily. So, there you go, guys. Uh, that's just, per uh, personally me, what I like to do. Uh, other than that, like, I, I just say just continue along the way and just blast all these guys down. It's not too hard of a stage. Oh, jeez. Of course, I keep getting hit by those, like, bouncy things, and that's pretty ridiculous. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. Just keep going here, and yeah, already here. We're at the boss. Go figure. Anyways, uh, let's see what's up with the Colonel. Why, uh, like, why are you here? What are you doing? Alrighty. Colonel, where are you at? Oh, right there. Alright, come on. Give up, man. Just back away. Well, I mean, you guys are attacking humans. I mean, this is kind of a hard thing for us to do, and we are labeling you as Mavericks. If you would have just came quietly... Oh, great. Show He's attacking us. Got. Alrighty, anyways guys, pretty much just like before when we uh, fought him the first time after we defeated uh, four Mavericks, he's pretty much going to attack the same way, but as you can see he's a little bit faster and he actually has more moves to throw at us. One of them is this one, where you got to be careful because as you can see the lightning goes across the floor, you got to jump over it, and in certain spots you can actually like jump over it, but then the lightning like raises up so you can't just cling to the walls basically anyways yeah for the most part as you can see it's pretty much the same fight but he's just a little bit faster but the timing on him when he teleports away is pretty much the same as it was beforehand just every once in a while you gotta watch out because he'll do this move here where he's in the center of the map and whatnot now once you get him to about half health and below he'll actually have like I think one extra move that he does and, uh, I'm not sure if I can show that off or anything. Well, I think I, I show it off here. I think he pulls it off here. I know, uh, when I fought him as, uh, Zero, he pulled that move off a couple times. But it's like a ground slash move. And as you can see, yeah, for the most part, you pretty much just want to, like, attack him, like, as quick as you can. But you can't, uh, repeatedly attack him over and over again because he just uses his... Oh, here's the move, yes. That's the ground slash ability that I was talking about. And, uh, yeah, for the most part, this fight isn't too hard. And then, in another sense, I actually like this fight. Oh, he does it twice. I, I didn't know. <laughs> but, yeah, I actually like this fight. I think it's uh, fun and whatnot. I'm not sure what his weakness is. I don't think he actually has a weakness. But I do find this uh, fight to be a lot of fun, and I love going back to this fight, and, uh, oh, jeez, I thought he was gonna teleport to the center. <laughs> but I, I absolutely love this fight, and I love to come back to this fight as both X and Zero. Especially as Zero, I, I find this fight to be absolutely fun. And as you can see here, we pretty much got him. Alright, stand down! Oh! Oh, no! Well, geez, I guess they're gonna start their own thing. But we gotta stop them. I don't know why we have to stop them from making their own, uh, like, nation, but then again, I mean, they have been attacking humans. Well, goodbye, Colonel, I'm sorry. I'm sorry all this had to happen, but now we have to deal with the general. Well, geez, that didn't go over too well. Anyways, guys, um, 
after defeating the Colonel here, uh, the next part here comes right over here. Yeah, I kind of noticed that they flew off this uh, space. Yeah, just watch over the base here. Don't double cross anything, will ya? Anyways, guys, I'll be back as Zero, and then I'll fight the Colonel. And this fight, I absolutely love Zero and the Colonel going at it. But give me a few moments, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back, and this time I'm Zero, and it's time for me to fight the Colonel. And to be honest, I love this fight. I love going back as Zero and fighting the Colonel. That's just my opinion. Hey, um, Iris doesn't want us to fight, but you're kind of not backing down. Alright, I'm sorry, my old friend. Show me what you've got. Okay. Anyways, yeah, pretty much like before, he's gonna attack just like he does in, uh, well, <laughs> like how he did in, uh, when X was fighting him. Only this time around, if you were playing a Zero, you never got a sample of how he was. You just had the cutscene, um, after everything. But, for the most part, I, I just love, like, zooming in, slashing him a couple times, and then zooming out, avoiding his attack, and that's pretty much what I, I pretty much like doing. It's a very fun fight, in my opinion. Again, I don't think he has a weakness. I think people say, like, the ice, uh, ability is his weakness. I'm not entirely sure on that. Or is it the slash, or dash, um, dash slash, or, yeah, say dash slash uh, ten times fast. I can't say it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, for the most part here, as you can see, I'm pretty much, uh, taking care of him. He's not too hard. Oh. Jeez, yeah, here's that uh, ground slash ability. <laughs> but I, I love this fight. I don't know what it is. Something about this fight is just epic for me. I find it absolutely fun, and I love going back to this. Especially as Zero, because, I don't know, probably because the Colonel's got a uh, beam saber right there. And it's like, I'm picturing them, like, actually duking it out. Almost like Luke Skywalker and, uh, like, you know, Darth Vader going at it or something. Or Obi-Wan and uh, Anakin. But guys, we defeated the Colonel, nonetheless. Oh no, they already left for space! Colonel, no! Oh no, our old friend! Colonel, no! What's Iris gotta say about this? Iris has gotta be pretty mad that we destroyed the Colonel. That was one of our friends! No! Yeah, guys, we defeated the Colonel. Um, not much else I could say. Well, what does Iris have to say about that? Wait, where is Iris? What's going on here? Huh. Uh, Iris? Uh, I guess she's pretty upset. Anyways, guys, this was the next episode of Let's Play Mega Man X4. Hope you enjoyed it, and so until the next episode, guys, you guys take care, and I'll see you on the next one, where we're going to find out if X was right to leave Double in charge, and what happened to Iris.